happened since, uh, and as we draw the drone back home in completion, and they are going to zero in still on the overall drawing from the on a trajectory, looking at this much government uh, has on on the economic front. You did describe different potents. In your estimation and in your in your exact word to that and so we'll be looking up to the policy trust continuation. How do you see honorable, right honorable Oboroware ensuring that data states gets to the same trajectory that the core has been planted? It is very clear from his manifesto. It's more. Meaningful development talks about all type of infrastructure and development that you have done. Because the fundamentals are there as established by Governor Okowa. You don't need to tell anybody today that uh, Okowa is a roadmaster. I'm sure even, even those who doubt it, I'm sure they, they know that it's just a failed uh, story that they're trying to pull out. Obera will do more roads. Are there more roads to be done? Yes, there are many more roads to be done. Because for in decades, some roads have not been done. Without Okowa, roads will go to River Rhine. And yet, uh, most of our oil come from there. Weather is an infrastructure uh, 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 project uh, platform, uh, ministry, well, department or agency that the governor put out there to first of all tackle the challenges of erosion and water. You can't, you can't build on nothing. If you don't take out and recover all the drain channel, all the uh, erosion channels, and bring them back to life. Anything you do, you are building on nothing. Because clearly, erosion will take them out. That's the first thing. And that's why they have done well over 41 kilometers. Please, I'm not just throwing figures at you. Over 41 kilometers of drains. That's what, that's what they are doing, running rings around everywhere, breaking down areas and making them to work. And the next level is once they clear those areas and those channels are through, to lay asphalt and all that is something that they can do in one year and two years. And it's a government of continuity. So meaningful development will continue to run in terms of infrastructure in those areas. Those meaningful development can also encapsulate human capital development, because that's where we are. You cannot, where we are headed is industrialization, commercial agriculture. Most of the things that we're putting in place are the things that will orchestrate, galvanize job creation, complement what government is doing. It's not easy to do nine uh, technical colleges. What that tells you is that we are repositioning ourselves, our people to be skill-based people rather than storytellers and wait for civil service jobs. That's exactly what it tells you. The experiences for Yagreb, Step, Risa, and Wessa are such that the world must copy. Even the federal government knows that. As, as, as uh, Commissioner of Economic Planning uh, on our Community of Practice platform, I used to be called upon to talk about Yagreb and Step. This Zainab, the current minister for the honorable minister, will always say the reason why they call Delta State is even though we are this, but see where we are focusing on job creation for our people. We became a model for people to copy. Obero will do that. Opportunities for all. There will be room for stakeholders. There will be opportunities for everybody. It will take you as his own because he has, he has the empathy. He has a social connection. He has the respect to flow. So he creates opportunities. Stakeholders begins to take, take, look, to be able to build our budgets, we are almost always, as part of an integral part of it, is town hall meetings with people and know their needs. If you don't get in touch with people, you don't know their needs. You don't know their needs. So there's opportunities for all. So it's not going to be, it's not going to be central alone. It's not going to be south. It's not going to be north. It's going to be delta. There's always an emphasis in your area when you become a governor. There's no doubt about that. So if you're going to think that oh, we will not do that, no, you're lying. But there will be fairness in the distribution of uh, resources. Realistic reforms. Yes, our IGR is low. But we're not that low. When you realize that there's huge poverty, and you cannot do what Lagos State does or what federal, uh, 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 the capital city does in Abuja because you are an indigenous here. Airify took some of his development models to Kaduna, even though 
it orchestrated improvements and modernization. It's had a lot of backlash in that environment. Breaking primordial ties or stereotypes is a gradual process that you must do. Are we seeing any years? Are we diversifying the economy? Yes. Are we investing in those things that can also bring money to the state to do those things? Yes. You don't only invest when you don't when it's a period of boom. Even in very dire period like this. They're talking about 150 billion. When we gave out 38 billion, didn't they know? It was published, it was cleared by the house. Somebody sits back and says, they just sit down without a, a plenary and just announced it. I don't understand what that means. It's supposed to be a resolution, and they did. So more, meaningful development, opportunities for all. Yes, realistic reforms. So environment, there will be a need to talk about the environment. He comes from where you have challenges in the environment. The ecology of those people, the threats. Because as we all know, there are no sufficient provisions by the law to revamp or rejuvenate all of those areas. Those provisions need to be made. So everybody will listen more. He will work more. He will engage more. And he will stay more with you. This is a government of continuity. And that's how it should be.